Good evening, my friend. As you can see, it's 10 to 6 here in the Netherlands. And you and I, as well as Adele, are in the, uh, the ancient little village of Leidschendam. Leidschendam is uh, in the province of South Holland. And what you're looking at there is the village church of Leidschendam, which was built in 1653. And we've We've come up here because we want to take a little walk through this historic sort of historic city. It's on the banks of the so-called Fleet Canal, which goes between Delft and Leiden. And uh, came here on a hunch, basically. I thought, you know what, that sounds like an interesting place, a nice spot. And by golly, it is. So uh, buckle up, get yourself a drink. And prepare for life to dump because you, you and me and Adela are here to walk through. <laughs> hey. Right, so first of all. Already got a few people with us. Roxana Eman is with us. Hey Roxana. Hey, Patrick Bigelow from Mississippi, Ooh. also joining us already. Hello Patrick. John Carson, also from Hi England. John. Is that Ron and Maxie as well that are with it us is too? Ron and Maxie. Right. Oh. Sweet. So um we're in Lights for Dam and where are we headed to? What's our destination? Uh, we're going to go through the centre of Leidschendam. There's a couple of churches. This is one of them. Um, and then we're going to walk along the Fleet Canal. Yep. Which is the canal that runs from Leiden to Delft. And this is the little bit of it. We're going to go along. It's really pretty. There's loads of nice cafes. Very gezellig. And then we're going to end at the Molen the windmill. Salamander. The windmill salamander, which salamander you, you said is a wood. Molen. You said it's a wood cutting mill. Is that right? Yeah, a wood sawing mill. So uh, if you stay to the end of the tour, you'll get to see the windmill. Down the water that way. That's it. So the sun's going down. What time is it now, Delhi? Almost six. It's like nearly six p.m. And uh, you're joining the Dutch World Life. If you'd like us to shout you out, or you'd just like to say hi. Uh, make sure you drop your name and your location uh, as a comment in the chat section below the video so we can say hi to you. You are live from the Netherlands now, so whether you're joining us on the live tour or whether you're watching the replay, it's very nice to see you guys. We're, we're starting at the village church here in Leidsendam, uh, a gorgeous octagonal it's the church. Dorpskerk. The Dorpskerk, indeed, the village, village church, it's like an octagonal shape. So maybe we can go it's have a, nice a look. Building. We can have a little look at that. But what's beautiful about Leidsche Dam is this. Chair. So this is the uh, canal that runs through the centre. What, what's this little spot called? It was it like the Dam Plain? Dam Plain. No, you need Dam Plain. No. no, we just parked. Slough's Plain was it? Uh, Not sure. Let's but say it's here. Really nice, yeah. isn't it? Let's say up there. Not up there. Nah, but basically this is the centre of Leidsche Dam. It's not a, the, the historical part of the town is not huge. Uh, it sort of sprawls out. Slows camp. That's it, the slows camp. It sort of sprawls out the town. But this is the historical centre of Leidsche Dam. Nice, It's huh? very pretty. This spot is definitely worth taking a moment to just have a little look all around. So we're just going to turn to the right now. Mardi Bommel's joined us. Hey, Mardi. Hello, Mardi. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Anne from Scotland. Hey. Uh, Patricia Van Der says hello. Thanks for the surprise. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's surprise, a surprise, Patricia. It is a spontaneous live tour from Leidschendam today. We've quite enjoyed doing evening virtual tours today. And if you're not familiar with our channel, then what we do is we explore and discover what we call Hidden Holland beyond Amsterdam. And a lot of people know Leiden. We've been to Leiden, haven't we? We have been to Leiden more than once. But we've never been to Leidschendam until, until now. It's smaller. Should we have a little look at the church? Can we cross over here? Uh, once these cars have gone, yeah. You can see this little bridge here is just a small little... Um, oh, I forget the name of the bridges, but one that tips up. What's that called in Dutch again, that bridge? Someone watching mustn't remember the name. So it's, it's single file for the cars. Hey, we've got Claudia as well. Claudia Mantilla Dubuch, all hey. the way from New York City. Claudia. And Noreen Cowper, as I can see there. And we said hi to Toby. I don't think also. I have. I don't think I have. Hi, hey, Toby. I just looked at the sun let's, and now I can't see very well. Let's, let's do, should we do the button? Oh. So we'll walk over, take a look, little look at the Dorob's Cake, built in 1653. Wow, um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Octagonal church. A little bit like wow. the one at Willemstad. The, the, the church at Willemstad is an octagon. That guy just walked 
walked past. He'd obviously just got a nice Saturday night takeaway. He had bags full of what smelled like lovely hot fruit. Nice. He hey, here. Got a waft as he walked past. Here we go. So the Dorops carry. Look, here we are. So this is the village church in Leidschadam. Very cool. Mm. Um, na zeven jaar bouwen werd deze protestantse kerk in 1653 in gebruik genomen. Genomen, genomen. After being built for seven years, it was brought into use in 1653. Wow, you are. You are smooth. Okay, try to... Kreeg van wegen zijn vorm als bijnaam de paperbus. Um, it got What the does name... That mean? Because of its shape, it got the name Jan van der Velden. Pepper, pepper bus. Yeah, that's pepper it. Pepper pot. pot. Yeah, so it looks like a pepper pot. It does. Uh, should we go around the, the front and have a little look? Again. Hey, Betty de Jong's joining us. Hello, Betty. Hey, Betty. Great that we've got the whole gang. Hopefully, Gary we'll... Horseman's also with us from Montreal, Canada. Gary, good to see you, my friend. We're in Leid Saddam today, so you're on a you're on a live experience. Our aim is to give you the experience of being in the country, oh, even if you it. even if you can't make it here in person. We create live streams like this one, Adele and I. We sort of travel across the country so that you guys can experience the culture and the uh, the landscape of the Netherlands even if you can't make it here right now. So thanks so much for joining us, and a special thanks go to our Explorer Club members who sponsor these trips, basically. So thanks so much to you guys, and don't forget, if you want us to say hi to you, then make sure you drop a comment in. Look at this. So this is the river, isn't it, Delhi? The canal. The canal, sorry. Yep. And apparently- Maureen Cooper's joining us also from Saratoga Springs, Very New York. Cool. It's almost six o'clock, so the bells are likely going to go off. Hey, we're soon. in a good spot for the bells. And do you remember my tips? You know what I worked out recently was um, if there's ever like sometimes they play a tune before the bongs. Oh yeah. Um, don't go back too far. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> um, and the bongs are always on time. The bongs start on the hour. So if you ever want to hear the tune, it's before o'clock. So you've got to be ready. There you go. Don't there you have go. to be Little caught tip. out. I love that. I love One that. too many times. Hey, uh, making you, that mistake. You never guess who's joined us. Ellen de Burr. Ellen de Burr. That's right. The, the Ellen de Burr. It is the Ellen de Burr, yeah, from Texas, you know? Excellent. Hurrah, hi, Ellen. And also, us, Ellen. Randy's come along as well. Randy, hey. Our good pal Randy Collier from Virginia is joining us. Whoop, whoop. Who have you got on your phone? Who else have we got joining us on this little tour today? Have similar people, Bob de Croot. Bobby de Croot's here. Bobby oh, fantastic. We've got people from all over the world, even Dutch people joining our tours because yeah. oftentimes um, Dutch people are very well travelled. They tend to travel quite far distances, but oftentimes they don't tend to see their own country. So, what we try and do is we try and show you guys uh, the place places in the Netherlands that you might have seen from signs on the motorway like this place, Leid Sudam, but you've not actually entered into and uh, we're going to take a walk along the Kader of Leid Sudam. Are we going to cross here or are we going to... I think the next bridge. Oh, look how pretty that yeah, looks. And then here is, you know, we were just looking at the uh, the village church there. Well, that is that, that's the church just behind the, just behind the trees, yeah. So I'm going to follow you, Delhi. Lovely, we've got the uh, the trees are all turning autumnal colours. Very pretty. Apparently. We've actually got some crazy warm weather still. It's 20 like degrees. 20 isn't it? degrees. Madness. It's like British summer weather in late October. Hey, I should... <gasps> The bridge is opening! Oh my word, quick, quick. Just in time for Roxana Imam and her parents who are watching. Wow, Roxana, this one's for you guys. Look, the bridge is opening up. So oh, we're that on is so bridge. sweet. Oh, that, and the bells. And the bells. What the? Bridge this is bells. too much. I'm over Dutch in Adele. Help. Hey. That means this bridge is going to open soon. Oh, oh you're serious. Bobby, don't miss the... This, what a treat this is. Is this, is this bridge going to open too, Adele? Yeah, so when we met, we finally met a Bruchwacher, a open? bridge watcher. Not yet, not yet. Can you see him coming though? Just a yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, you see like... the guy in the orange jacket. We couldn't have planned this better, could we? So what, what happens in a place like this where there's several bridges, rather than having one Bruchwachter, bridge watcher, 
No, rather than having one on every bridge, um, when a boat comes, or a couple of boats, the bridge, bridge Bruchbachter, walks along and opens bridge after bridge after bridge. That is crazy. Or he timing. cycles. If there's a long distance between, then he cycles. Which side do we want to be on? I think we should stay on this side. Yeah? Who knew this was going to happen? Listen, if you've just joined us, we're in Leidschadam today. At this I think on this side. Do you think? I'm a bit. I'm getting a bit afraid. Because look, there's another. Look, just let me show you. There's the bridge there, yeah. Oh, wow. So you guys have recognised these these types of bridges. We Obviously from, from the Netherlands. But there's this other little walkway here as well. <gasps> bells. There's bells going everywhere, man. Bells and bridges. Next thing we're going to see. Oh, there's two boats. There's two boats. Oh, this is an exclusive. Oh, let me. I don't know. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> He's just running around. He direct me, direct me. Look at the boats and the bridge. Right, okay. Loading. And then the Bruchwachter's just come to this one. This is very exciting. Come where you can actually see the bridges. <laughs> Betty says she loves those bells. They, uh, they keep going, hey? Mass. Oh. That's the Catholic Church. Actually, I'm not too sure if that is the Catholic. Yeah, yeah, it must be. Grace Man says, what perfect timing, bridge and bells. What's he doing? He's, he's, he looks like he's putting his boat. Is oh, are they mooring? Is he mooring up? Oh, maybe they won't open this bridge in is the that end. what he's doing? Wow, how exciting is this? Listen, if you've just joined us, then uh, welcome to the Dutch World Life. We're in Leipzig today, and uh, that's, that's quite exciting, wasn't it? It is exciting, but the Bruchwachter He's here with his orange coat next to our bridge. Right, so, uh, so we go and have a look. And what's great about doing these live experiences for, for you guys and for the people around the world is uh, we, 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 don't, we don't plan any of this, so we didn't actually know this was going to happen. And, and that just makes these types of experiences a little bit more exciting and enjoyable, right? Rather than having like a pre-produced video. So I'm so glad that everybody's here. Hello Mario Bukestein, hello Frank Faculty, my friend. Hello Johannes van der Waal. This is so cool. So look, we've got we've got these boys down here on the boat. So we go down and just have a little look. And if you've got any questions or you want me to say hi to you, make sure you drop in a comment and uh, we'll do our best. That over there is the toll house. Let me show you. So Light Sudan apparently made its money from transport, <laughs> taxing people as they came on the boats between Delft and Leiden. And this was where they got taxed. It's a toll house, yeah, look at that. I think it's a toll house that anyway. Was a, that was a lovely uh, supply of bells, eh? It was. Proper good. Moira Varm and Dam is with us. She says, that's so cool. Bridge opening and bells. Hi, Moira. <laughs> right, so yeah. Great timing, eh? We're on the edge of the water. I don't know what's going to unfold next. All I know is, <laughs> it's foreboding too long here, so we can't go down there. Oh, onto the water's edge. And can you guys see the bridge, the bridge rafter, the brush rafter? He does look like he's got something up his sleeve, eh? It what do you think? Does he, can you see the glint there. in his eye? Does he have that glint in his eye of a brush rafter who's about to open a bridge? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, we've got Henrietta Mulder Althoffers with us. Hello, Henrietta. She's back in Ontario now. You've been in Belgium, haven't you, Henrietta? So I'm really glad you could oh. join us. Can you see the water, what's actually happening here? There's a really strong current in the water and what's happening is, is the water level is rising. It's a sluice. So they've ever slightly opened it's the um, the lock gates there. It's a blimmin' So the water is gushing in through the lock gates just on the other side of the bridge and actually raising the level of the water. You just called him Slousmeister. Slousmeister, he said, not Bulwachter. So, sorry, I... I gave him the wrong title. That was me. My bad. That was you Maybe saying he's it was a, a Bulwachter. and a Slousmeister. What's going on? Hey, is Slous a lock? A Slous is a sluice. A sluice. It's is that like, like a lock, so the big doors that shut? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I guess there's... Maybe there's a little bit of a difference. You can see the water rising, though. Look, we're just by the water in Lai Saddam here for our live experience. Oh, Bobby, can you see? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, stop. The bridge is going to go up. Yeah, don't go on the bridge. No, I won't. Can you do. see there the, um, the, the lock gates, are opening, gates aren't they, opening? Yeah. Look, so there's basically some gates behind the bridge there. So he's opened the lock now. The water level has raised sufficiently 
He's opened the lock and shortly he's going to put the red lights on and open the bridge. Shall we wait and see? Do you want to wait and watch the bridge go up, guys? You can use the comments section to tell us what you'd rather do. Stay and watch the bridge. Oh, look, it's flashing, it's flashing, it's flashing. Oh, ding, ding. Oh, Bobby, look. There we go. Nobody through. I love it. Shane says we are certainly getting our pennies worth today. <laughs> this is great. Hey, if you're enjoying it, make sure you leave a comment. You're watching the Dutch World Live. Hey, Linda de Jong Heaton says, wait for the bridge. Oh, there's the bell. The official bell. Very exciting. Are they called cantilever bridges? Cantilever bridges, I think you might be right. There. Because um, there's a weight, there's a counterweight at the opposite end of this top bar. So that big block at the end is the counterweight which helps to lift the weight of the bridge as this raises. Patricia van der Valt said yes, stay. Johanna's also wanted us to stay and watch. And Betty, everyone's up for watching the bridge. Check this out, man. Wow. I don't know whether it's... This is so dirty. I mean, I do like a bit of good engineering me, but this is... Um, I love the Dutch bridges. And you can see this whole weight of the bridge so it's basically a massive slab of road and from the opposite side it looks to me even more strange because it's the road except it's vertical <laughs> instead of flat check out matey boy here and here we go now these guys chug their way through it takes a while for them to make their way up the uh, up the canal through all the different sluices Nelda Marco says, us Dutch certainly know how to deal with water. Yep. And I love the bridges everywhere. Really, uh... Who are you about, eh? <laughs> wow, what a privilege. Their so this, boat this is called Leidschen Dam. What, what day is it today? We should say the day on the show. is Leidschen Dam. Saturday. Saturday, the... 28? 20... Eight? Eight. It's not the 28th. No, it's What's not the, the date? 28th. I don't even know the date today. But that, that was monumental, wasn't it? <laughs> Should we watch the bridge go back down again? It won't take long. He's already on it. And this is all part of the Netherlands. You see these bridges all over the country. Look how it works. Yeah, yeah, look how it works. Watch. He's looking up. You see what's happening to the bridge? And you can see that counter counterweight, that's yeah. the word. The big... Big, great big green slab on the end of the top bar is the counterweight which helps to raise the weight of the bridge which means that it doesn't require actually too much force to lift the bridge it just requires it being pushed in the same, right direction and look at that view with the church behind oh, that is 22nd Moira and Anne thanks, say thank Moira. you thanks, Moira. and Betty Henrietta are oh, good what about <laughs> that then and now all those people are waiting over there they'll be allowed to come over and it just locks back down like that I love it and you never have to wait that long really it's all very efficient um, and I think that might be that might be the it. last bridge on the uh, Bruchwachter's route. Think we're there, aren't we? So he runs along the water canal and lets the boats through one bridge after bridge. Should we walk down this way? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to lead the way and I'll follow okay, you? Yeah. We, we just want to say a couple of shouts because the leader's just joined us, Delhi, yeah. all the way from Jordan Station in Canada. Uh, we've got uh, Anne Fan who's here uh, and Henrietta is still with us as well, all the way from Ontario. Listen, thanks so much oh, for being with us. Look at these back feet. Oh, we love having all you guys. Oh, look at back feet. <laughs> we love uh, doing this, we love bringing you guys to the Netherlands and for those people around the world who aren't able to make it here for whatever reason, whether it's, you know, a, a financial or a physical or a, you know, just circumstantial situation that doesn't allow you to come to the Netherlands, what we want to try and do is give you an experience of the place without you having to go into the expense of buying, you know, flight tickets and having to do all that and really what we're trying to become is like the be the world's number one travel platform, virtual travel platform for the Netherlands. So we appreciate everybody who comes along and leaves comments and actually contributes to this experience, especially tonight in Leidsche Dam. The sun's going down, it's golden hour, and the buildings are about to light up like a, yes. Rem like a Rembrandt painting, I'm telling you hey, right now. you can now. see, it looks like this can be another lock as well. 
These, it looks like these shut. Yeah, also, it does, if you it? need them to. Fascinating. Should we keep walking then up this way? Yeah. Some gorgeous spots up here, gorgeous buildings. Oh, cute little island. What's fascinating about Lyche Dam is officially. That's the damn plane where oh, is we it? parked. Oh, is it? I'm not swearing, by the way. That's actually the name of it. Look damn at, plane. Look at this, quite a modern <laughs> building. But I was just telling them, Delhi, Leidscher Dam actually only came into being in 1938, even though I told you there's been a settlement here for like thousands of years. In fact, it was pre-Roman, this area. Pre-Roman? Very old. On this I, side of AKA. the water, the northern side. But it only became, Leidscher Dam only became an official place in 1938 when it became a Gemeinte, a municipality. And what a lot of people don't realise is legally, legally there are actually no towns or cities or villages in the Netherlands. There are only municipalities and uh, Leid Sudan became a municipality in 1938. It was then split up again. Um, oh, what are you saying? I'm just saying this is where we are. So we've got Stomp Vike, which sounds amazing. I love that. Nine kilometres from Leiden. Leiden's that way, sort of north-ish. Uh, Reis Vike and Forsforten. That's Sweet. where we are. Sweet, let's keep going. I'm not sure what these statues are. You guys can research them if you want. It's quite an interesting statue. There's a chap here with a Looks like a hammer on a suitcase with a dog on his shoulder. This guy's got a boat on his arm. This guy's got a boat on his arm. If you want to jump on Google now and, and check that out, you can share that information with our with our members on the show. It is sort of an interactive experience. So although we're here in the Netherlands showing you guys around and giving you guys the experience of being alive, it's lovely when people who join the show and join our tours get involved and uh, share their own experiences as well. Lovely time of day as well. It is. It's the uh, most of the shops have closed now, just after six o'clock. So it's now time for the cafes. Okay. People having their evening meal, a nice I'm, snack. I love this style of architecture. That's yeah. gorgeous. That's cafe. Was it cafe under slows? Nay, brasserie under slows. Oh, nice. Ellen de Boer says thank you for what you do. Oh, Ellen, that's such a nice thing to say. A leader says such an awesome area with amazing architecture. It is very pretty. It's sort of a mixture because, like I say, you know, the, 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 the settlement has been here for a long time. Apparently, apparently, it used to be split by the by the canal into two, but it became it became a municipality in 1938. This is a nice building. Look here, Slauskond, Nada the older Slaus and Overtone in the fleet. What's an Overtone? A what? Overtone. Overtone. Any idea? I don't know what an overtome is. That, is it a, like a bridge? Could be, overtome. Anybody, Over. anybody know what an overtome is? Hey, Alex Felix Alex Felix has just joined from South Africa. Whoop, whoop. Say hello to Alex. Alex, hi. Do you know what an overtome is? Do you is? know what an overtome is? Because we don't. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Look. Oh, we would say tomb. Look at this here then. In an English accent. I mean, Elizabeth is loving the cobblestone streets. Look at that, sure. It's really nice. So this whole area is actually cobblestone, but you can see from the pattern in the bricks where the road is, where the um, cafe area is, where the terraces are. Yeah, nice and it's quite small. This is the second. What church is that, though? Uh, let me check. Yeah, have a look at uh, what the name is. Pet Petrison. Ah, so it must be the Catholic Church then, eh? Let me have a quick look. Big thing that, Petrus isn't it? Petrus and Paulus, Kevin. Yeah, it's for sure a Catholic Church. No Protestant would call it Petrus and Paulus. Peter and Paul Church. No chance. Look at that, that was off. Oh, Remco's commented. Hey, thanks, Remco, Mark. Good. You're a, you're a good guy. Appreciate that. Well, he I said, can't see Remco's comment. Well, Why Rem is Facebook only letting you see it? Remco's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Remco Cant is my friend, not yours. Oh, and my friend, no, my friend Remco <laughs> has just said that Overtome is the Overcont. It's the other side. Oh, so the he's like the opposite side. Sorry. So yeah, this is the obviously the Catholic Church. It's a rather lovely little square. And then next to it, you've got what was probably at one time the pastori, the pastor's house, or the domine's house, probably a, a residential place. Now, it might not be. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's nice. have a closer look. Hey, Billy Snitzelar's just joined us. Billy Snitzelar. 
hero. Boom, 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 boom. And Donna Wilson Veersmith says, Goedemiddag, Bob and Adele. Donna. You saw you were on a very lovely place. Donna, at the start, if you watch the replay, you'll be able to see it was bridge and bell-tastic. It was. For the first ten minutes, all the bells were bonging. All the bridges were going up and down like yo-yos. I thought Anne Jarvis gonna, was, was going to appear exciting. with a few wheels of cheese. Bongs and bridges. Yeah. Got, <laughs> imagine that in tulip season. They could probably got tulips out. We oh, would have gorgeous. totally overdutched. There was a very high risk of overdutching at that point in time. Yeah. So, anyway, when Lied Saddam, like we oh, were saying is. before, uh, the uh, Petrus and Paulus Kerrick, Lied Saddam was uh, originated in 1938, but the, the, there have been people here for a lot longer than that making their money from taxing boats going between Delft and Leiden. This church was designed in 1880 by E.J. Margri. Um, looks like quite a beautiful church, but we can't get in it because it's a bit late. And it's right next to the so-called Fleet Canal so here in Leidsdam. Along the canal here is where we get to the Molen. Oh, is it? We've got, oh, yeah, we're going to see in the windmill, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, look at this gorgeous boat. That is very pretty. Hey, man. Hey. Wow, it's so nice. And yeah, was it so back in the 1800s? This was the main way for people to transport Can transport we... the goods along this canal, which runs from Leiden all the way to Delft and out to the water, the open sea. And uh, wait, am I getting mixed up? I'm, I'm not sure. I think it was basically transport because we decided it wasn't a fleet; it was a canal. What didn't? Yeah, we? yeah. It, but it's called the Fleet Canal. But here's <laughs> the, here's the harbour, so we can see. Here we it, are. Look, you start here. You're standing here. And these are the two bridges that we've just had fun with. And where's the windmill? The windmill's down, oh, it's just off the picture. It's, it's not far, it's like, I think it's there. Okay, should we get, just going, missed to, it. Should we get going to the windmill It's then? like a three minute walk, four oh, minutes. Just view. Hey, if you like the view and you're enjoying Leid Shaddam, don't forget that uh, every single comment that you guys make and every contribution that you make to the tour adds to the tour itself. So what we do is we travel the Netherlands and we show you guys places that you probably never heard of or you might never have been to. Um, but we also love the fact that you guys comment and ask questions. We were the only travel channel in the world that creates community-driven travel experiences. Oh look, some drink water here, check that out. Hey. Got a drink water? A little drink. Oh, better not get the camera wet. How good is that? Go on, have a good glug. Uh, yeah, so make sure you leave your comments. Local people also watch our tours and they like to see what you guys think as well. We're in Lai Shaddam. Look at those buildings over there. Oh, yeah. A bit broken down, aren't they? You don't see oh, that. Oh, no, much. look, they're doing it up. They're turning it into four luxury apartments. Oh, are they? You Good heard work. it here first. Here's your chance. Do you want a luxury you apartment? You don't see that very often. By the, side of the, uh, by the side of the canal. Yeah, nice. Hey, if you could can you imagine living here? Anybody watching right now? We've got people from all over the place who are joining the tour. And some of Kelly you. Prince Carvendam's just joined us too. Has she? Hey. Kelly, great to see you. Oh, look over there. Look at the houses, Deli. Oh, they are nice. Ooh, we've got some gable, gable fun going on. And then a lovely big boat. So what we'll do is we'll walk along the water with you guys. Yeah. Over to the to the windmill. Are you up for going to see in a molen? Anyone fancy some windmill fun? <laughs> windmill action? Oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? Shane says he's loving the tweet. Sorry. I'm singing, says... the, singing the anthem. <laughs> Very loud, up to the top of me. <laughs> Shane says he's <laughs> loving the reflections on the water. Oh, that's one of it's the nice best. It's nice when it's really still water. You get a really nice mirror image. Honestly, it's one of whatever the view is. It's one of the best things that, and especially this. Well, back to the. And then we've got these gorgeous houses. Let's put the binoculars on just so you can Bessie see. Bessie says it. it would be a bit too busy for her to live here. She likes somewhere a bit quieter. Oh, I can imagine, Betty. Is Noreen Cooper says, I would love to live there. I can see the blooming windmill. <gasps> oh, wow, that. we've already got a bit of a sneak preview of the molar. Very picturesque, isn't it? Should we keep on walking to the Billy windmill? Billy Snitzler says, my dream is to someday move there. Oh, that's very nice. cool. Well, conceive, what is it? Conceive, believe, achieve, Billy, you can do it. Right, so can anyone spot the windmill already? You're going to have to have keen eyes to be able to see it, but it is in view. That's where we're headed. It is apparently a former sawmill. 
uh, and it's just a couple of minutes walk down here. So, hey, uh, Carol Gwilman Boss Hart has joined us from central New York. Hello, Carol. She says she loves this area. Oh, nice. Look at over there, Carol. I'm not kidding you. Just a minute, Daddy. Look at that house right in front of it. Let's put the binoculars oh, on. Oh, some nice gable action going That's on there. That's type of a Swiss chalet style. What, what do you call that now? I forget, I forget the building style. Alida says she could definitely live here. Hey, and Louise has joined us too, Louise Applegate. Hello, Louise. Good Happy birthday you. for this week. Hey. It's Louise's birthday. And you're watching the, uh, the Dutch Royal Life. We're in Leiden for an evening walk today. Anne Fan said she did spot the Molen in the distance. Oh, I should be shouting Holy Molen with my Molen hoodie. I know. <laughs> Let's keep walking and uh, see if you guys can see the windmill as we pass the corner here. I'm happy that the, the, the weather has cooled down sufficiently to be able to wear my Holy Molen hoodie. Hey, look at these apartments. They're quite nice. I mean, you get a nice outlook over the water, over the Molen. Whoa, the camera just spun round one eight one three sixty. It's over Dutchin. And crazy. It, just, it caught a glimpse of the molen in the corner of its eye, glass eye. And it did a quick spin, a quick pirouette to Ooh, celebrate. That was exciting. <laughs> hey, if you've just joined us, uh, then make sure you drop in a little comment and let us know you're here. We're um, walking along the side of the river here in Leicester and we're headed, my friend, believe it or not. To that guy. There she blows. I can't wait to see this because this is quite a special woman. Yeah, I bet he's just spotted it too. Can you see it up ahead? Yeah. Ooh, are they dahlias? Are they dahlias? They do look they like They are dahlias, dahlias aren't, they? aren't they? Nice. We know our dahlias now after we, we do, went to we our do. dahlia picking garden at the Tulip Barn a couple of weeks ago now. Look across there. It's like the sun's going down. It's still warm though, isn't it? It is. Still strangely warm for the end of October, oh, yeah. but as long as it's cold enough for me to put my big warm hoodie dress on, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, Shane says the camera was molen hunting. It was. <laughs> it was. Bobby, you accidentally pressed the molen hunt button on the camera. <laughs> Randy, Randy Collier has left a good question. He's asked, what time does the sun go down this time of year? Well, uh, what are we on? Late October, so I expect it'll be sunset around 6.30, Randy, at this point. Yeah. Um, and obviously it'll get later as we get into December. Earlier. And, uh, sorry, earlier as we get we into December. Get and then we hit midwinter, midwinter's day on the 21st of December, and it starts going the other way, and we start counting down to springtime. But it's around 6.30. These are, these are nice apartments. Look at yeah. that. Oh, and then look at these little gardens outside. That nice cosy. Yeah. Get a nice view of the molen. And then surely you, get to you watch can imagine the boats popping up and down. I'm sure that this would be a good place for Betty De Jong to live. I know she said it, it was busy. It seemed, it's getting a bit quieter now, She'd isn't like it, Betty? It, yeah. It's a bit more. Uh, Listen, if you haven't. It's more quiet when we get out of the centre. If you haven't said hello yet, then uh, please drop in a comment. We're on a little tour, an evening tour of Ledge and Dam in South Holland. Ooh just between Delft and Leiden and we're headed to have a look at this very special, unique windmill uh, called the Salamander. I did not know this kind Salamander, of windmill. Salamander, great name. I didn't even know there was this kind of windmill in, in South Holland, but there we go. We should be there in a couple of minutes, so stick around. And if you have a question or anything, then you can put it in the comments and we'll uh, Kelly we'll has an interesting question. Kelly says, does the, does the Netherlands subscribe to daylight savings time? Yes, the clocks do go. Uh, backwards in autumn and forwards in spring. Indeed, indeed. I think they just changed a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. it was, that's right. Can we get round to the windmill here? I hope we, we can. can get either to the left or the right, at least one the right, of the right. The right doesn't look... The, we can go around the right, but we'll end up a little bit wet and the camera might be worse for wear. OK, we'll go to the <laughs> left then. So maybe we'll go around to the left. Hey, Diane Guest has just joined Hello, us. Hello, Diane. Great to see you. Can I just show you? Gorgeous apartments here. Look at those. We're in Leitch and then we've come hey, out of the Caroline main centre. Caroline is with us as well from South Africa. Wow, we've got the whole South African contingency in tonight <laughs> in Leitch and then. Yeah. We're headed for a windmill just to show you where we've been walking. This is the uh, Fleet Canal. Back in the day, this river was actually called the Leitch and uh, in this part of the water, and that's what the settlement is named after. Let's walk around then. Can we walk around to the windmill? Yeah, we can. And yeah, so and there was this, there was quite a few windmills in this area. There were not as many now, but we we have found one of them, and so we're headed there right now. There's a three gang nearby, which means it's three windmills that work in tandem. 
Oh, yeah, we can get we through. Yeah. Nice. And there's a little bridge that just goes over. Over another waterway. They're all over. Sweet. Hey, Pauline's here. She says winter time starts on the 30th of October. Is that when the clocks change? Winter. No, the clocks change before that. Hi, Pauline. Did they, though? Because also <laughs> Caroline said that they change soon. Not yet. Ah, uh, listen, I'm just the cameraman. <laughs> uh, don't ask me these things. Hey, Debbie Adams is with us. She says, hi, Bob and Adele. Excited to see the wind. Hello, Debbie. Get ready, Debbie. Get a good... Lovely to have you. Debbie's one of our club members. Oh, my word. Look at this now. As we come over the cute little bridge. So I don't think this is a road. No, I think this is just a... Oh, no, actually, maybe it is a road. That's what I find tricky in the Netherlands, to tell what's a path, what's a road, and what's a bike path. Because they can be very similar. The roads can be extremely narrow... And the bike paths can be extremely substantial, so... <gasps> oh, this, this, we definitely need to have a little look around here to the left as well, Bobby. Maya Rickin says, great view. I would definitely live here, Adele. Alida says, what an awesome photo. Can you imagine? Oh, my God, if you live there, and there's your little boat, and then you pop to the molen... In your boat. I don't know. Actually, they probably won't grind you corn. to the molen. What I for? I don't know. Just just to say, hi, molen. Check out the little boat. And then and you've then, got the little and garden and the little boat. You can boardwalk. go under this bridge that we're stood on. That this was and then it. go up and down the uh, the canal that we just saw. Saw the bridge yo-yo fun before. This is a wicked spot. Should we walk a bit bit closer to the windmill? Oh, Betty says, yeah, but I could live in this park. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Betty. I knew it, Betty. I know Look you. this spot. This is so nice. So we're about five minutes walk out of Leidsedam and the water has sort of widened out here and there's, a, there's another area. bridge over there. Can you see it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It looks like a, um, a Jeu de Boule area. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then It's, it's a big picnic. Oh, come on, let's make it to the windmill because this is phenomenal. Right, so hopefully there's going to be information about this. Noreen Cooper says that's what heaven looks like. Isn't it, Jill? Oh, Bobby, look at that lovely apartment in the garden and then you have your boat at the bottom. Living in the shadow oh. of molens. This is nice, isn't it? We haven't done a sort of an evening thing like this for a while, have we? We've just come out wondering. Look, yeah. look over the way as well. Look at those apartments. Really nice. Um, I, there's quite a few people now supporting... Spotting the idea that the uh, clocks haven't gone back yet. So have we started? We must a have made it up. We're just we're just so ahead of ourselves that we. Uh... Seriously, I'm in 2023 <laughs> right now. How do you think I managed to do everything for the Dutch way of life? I'm a year ahead of everybody. I'm actually 43 and not 42. It's just in your world. I'm only kidding. Hey, have Let's we said hi walking. to Lauren Hill yet? I don't think we have. Is that hey. Lauren Hill of the Fuji's fame? Or is it Lauren yeah. Hill of the UK fame? It is, yes. Yeah, for She it said was. she was nearly getting knocked down by bikes in Amsterdam. It is. Uh, very oh. tricky. You've got to be on guard Seriously, in the cities it. for the bikes flying around. Can you get some info about this right. windmill? Right. Okay. So Del told me so when, when we were on our way to Leidsedam, she said, "Oh, there's a windmill in Leidsedam," and I'm like, "Yeah, okay. Well, there's you know, there's always windmills around." But she Salamander said, "Salamander." So just guy. a minute. Let me just tell the story. Sorry, I'll just shout <laughs> yeah, Salamander yeah, over you. Fog on. <laughs> um, Basically, Adele said, oh, there's a windmill in Leidsedam, and it's a sawmill, it's a, it's a sawmill, and she said, potentially, it looks like it might still be in use, at least for heritage purposes. Right, and as far as I'm concerned... It's still fully operational. As far as I'm concerned, sawmills tend to be found in North Holland, so obviously, uh, Zanseschans, you find sawmills, there's one in Amsterdam, there's one in uh, Gelderland, and a couple dotted around, but they're quite rare to find. But here, my friend... We have found ourselves. And I love it. A so real life sawmill. What happens is you have this. It looks to me like a windmill stuck on top of a long building. So the building juts out either side like two big hips. And then, um, and then the huge long wooden beams can go in the end of the long building and be cut with the saw. That's amazing. And so it's a platform mill, a so called Stelling Molen. In very, very good condition. Look at that. Uh, and then what you've got here, like Dal says, is you've got a type of just under the platform, obviously raised up in order that it can get wind above the factories and above the houses. And then this yeah, would be yeah. where they would 
leave the wood in to, to be cut. How good is that? Wow, the mechanism is hundreds of years old. Anne fans shared a bit of information. Oh, with. does she? Well, look, we can see here it's open every Wednesday and Saturday from 12 till 4 p.m. And it's free. Entry is free. We need to come back. We do need to How come back. How good is that? On a Wednesday or a Saturday. Yeah, I love this. Hey, nice Diana, Merkers, Diana Merkers has just said hello. She said I could live here in a minute. That is very interesting. Two minutes. Should we have a wander down this side? And yeah, you, I think you get, you can maybe see a You guys can see a, a bit around the mill. So this is Windmill Salamander in, um, in Leicestershire. We actually have a couple of these windmills available as miniatures in our store at the moment. I was talking to one of our customers, Carol, who bought a miniature windmill set from us. And uh, we have, she really liked the sawmill. And, they're absolutely gorgeous things. This is in amazing condition. Can you so guys this, the see original, that? Um, the original mill was built here in 1643. Is it? It was burnt. It was mostly destroyed in a fire in uh, 1773. Amazing. So a lot of it's look. been rebuilt since then. Look, look, look. But originally, yeah, look, there we go. No way. There's like Should the... Should we go um, over the water and then we could... Because I've yeah, got the thing yeah. in the way and you guys can't see it. You're gonna love this. Oh my god. The bridge. You're getting this, ahead of I feel like I'm over Dutching now, it's too nice. Look at this man. Hey, and if you've just joined us and you're wondering what is going on here, what are these two mad British people doing in Lancia Dam uh, fawning over a windmill? Well, you're watching the Dutch Way of Life, the only place where British people fawn over Dutch windmills <laughs> on the internet. And we are look at that, we're at the windmill salamander. This is a so-called well, I think it's a oh, so-called wow. paltrock molar. Right. That's a paltrock. I mean, it is a stelling molen, but yeah, what's yeah. amazing is it's not actually a stelling molen because can you guys see? Here's the here's where the wood would go in. Wood wood. And these, what would happen is they would float the wood. You can see up. these big. Uh, yeah, there's, look. there's a few bits of wood here floating around to show you. It's the easiest way to transport such large pieces of wood. Is literally just chuck them on the water and then you can push them around tie them together and just push them along and what they do then is they'd load them into the windmill into the uh, factory using you can that. see the little crane that grabs hold of the end and then it drags the wood up the ramp into the side door there and then it goes all the way into the uh, bottom of the molen where it's cut by an enormous saw i've never actually been in that, a work that is powered by the windmill yeah, that's powered by a woman. Yeah. I've never been in one. We do need to go in one that's working. And then it'll come and out fam. the other end and it'll be planks, won't it? Yep. Basically. So it's, it's not one saw. They have like eight saws in parallel. So they literally just shove the whole trunk of the tree through and these eight saw blades chop it into planks. We've got a bit of a bird situation going on at the moment. Yeah. You know Alfred Hitchcock, the film, The Birds? Have you watched it? <laughs> Because that's going on at the moment. Hey, Anne Fan says my How relatives good? used to work in one of the mills. Oh, really? How they, good is that? There were many mills in this area. Fantastic. Hey. Uh, Alida says the birds are excited that you've both arrived. Yes, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Oh, look, the lights have just come on. Have they? Yeah. Where? Unless it's just got dark enough to see. The building's oh, just slight, got grand. that slight yellow hint on the thatch. Can you see the thatcher, thatching let on the top in, half Let me there. zoom in, let me zoom in. Oh yeah, I can see the light on it now, yeah. Look at that, and if we, if we actually put the binoculars on, for those people who aren't so well versed in the windmill technology of the Netherlands, this is actually reeds, These, this is thatch that's on the outside of this windmill. Can you see that? It looks a little bit like fur or something, but it Yeah, from it this isn't. angle and in this light. And there is a wooden frame inside there and then uh, they would thatch over the wooden frame and you can see you've got these little eyelets there for the windows and then here is the Kopf on the molar which is on a uh, which is on a system which allows you to turn according to the direction of the wind and, uh, and saw the wood how good is that what a great, great treat here in Leicester have we said hi to Marianne Davis yet? I don't think we have she says hello Bob and Adele love this place so pretty it is very, it is very pretty. pretty yeah super I'm so pleased everyone could join us and we could actually get a taste of uh, of Lights and Dam. Lights and Dam, and yeah. we will have and to the come windmill. back. Johannes van der Velde was saying, you have to come back Absolutely. when the molen is open and watch some wood being stopped. Should we walk back down there now? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to walk back down to the... Uh, oh, there we are. We're the... going to walk back down to the to the town in Lights and Dam. Um, one of the reasons we do these 
uh, live experiences is not only to reward the people in our club who are who um, who basically sponsor our tours. Uh, it's not only to reconnect people around the world with ne Netherlands, but it's to sort of give you inspiration that when you come to the Netherlands, you don't just stay in Amsterdam and you don't just stay in, in the places that you know. Yeah. But rather you come to the country and you've seen this one of the places on our show, like Leidschendam, and you get inspired to come and visit these places. And, and um, we believe that that by showing people these places and not necessarily making fancy videos, but just showing up and uh, turning a live stream on and taking you with us and giving you a feeling of what it's like to walk through this place, just like without any big hoo-ha <laughs> of an evening, uh, that, that that's all we need to do to really show you how special it is. And uh, yeah. today we've seen the bridge in Leidsendam. Bridges. 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 Yep, and we've seen the windmills, beautiful Bridges wooden up and down. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to support us, you can join our Explorers Club. We've got lots of members on the on the stream today. Um, we have regular meetups, we have Dutch history classes, and we have premium tours that you can get access yeah. to. So if you'd like to join the club, you can type the word club now. Or if you'd like to check out our store and support us by buying one of our designs or one of like our this. hoodies, like Adele's hoodie. Can you see mine? Wait a minute, let me show you. Like my gazelle hoodie. I um, do like the gazelle hoodie. <laughs> I'm on holy molen. Yeah, if you'd like to do that, buy some gifts for the family. Um, we've got all sorts of clothing and some really nice designs, and you can find the link in the comments in this video right now. You can click yep, through that. And there if you want to go and, and see what other people think about the, the hoodies and stuff, then there's, there's plenty loads of reviews plenty and of everything. reviews on there. And thanks to everyone for supporting us and for buying stuff from the store, for becoming members. Um, we're the only channel in the world that explores and uncovers what we call hidden Holland beyond Amsterdam and reconnect people like you, like Alida and like everybody else who, who's joined us today to the Netherlands even if they can't make it here, even if they uh, are not able to for whatever reason uh, we are your eyes and your ears. So thanks for joining us in Leidschadam hey. and I believe there remains nothing left to say other than look after yourself. Oh, there's a lot of thanks. Ivor Stevens says... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. So thanks. Shane's enjoyed it. Every minute of it. Kelly Prince Grazendam. Is it looking for Dowag Burt's coffee cups? Oh, nice. we've got some on sale. Ooh. Kelly, don't buy any. We've got yeah, some look. beautiful coffee cups for you. Uh, Judy de, de Kviet Burk says, Blessed weekend to you both, Bob and Adele. Oh, Thank you. Thanks, Judy. We appreciate it. And fans that. enjoyed it. And Evelyn Lehman says, So grateful to see my homeland done so well. Oh, man, that's, what, that's, a, that's <laughs> the best thing ever. What a nice comment. That is lovely. We've been in the Netherlands for three years. We emigrated here with nothing more than a caravan, some cats, and an idea that we could make a living. Some cats. And uh, <laughs> it's thanks to people, isn't it, who are watching our show yeah. that we were able to continue to do this. Yeah. So join the club, buy some stuff from the shop, and from Leidschadam tonight here in South Holland, now there remains nothing else to be said, but, oh, let's get the windmill in the background. Look after yourselves, look after each other, and above all, and keep it dirt.